Okay. Well, we're back with Dr. Waske from uh, Denver, Colorado, um, an optometrist. Uh, doctor, you know, let's talk about frames a little bit. I mean, obviously the first thing coming to my mind and I think to most people's mind is frames should look good. You know, when I went to school and, you know, it was like you wouldn't want to date a girl with frames, kind of, and that, of course, changed drastically in the meantime, do you know what I'm saying? Uh, so anyway, it still looks good. But let me ask you, are there some other f- things one should know about frames which maybe we don't pay enough attention to it as the everyday consumer rather than looking good? Oh, sure. Uh, if you want to you're looking at uh, lightweight uh, frame choices, uh, frames made out of titanium uh, are going to be very lightweight. Uh, very um, uh, form-fitting. They don't bend as much, or if they do bend, they don't break. Uh, so you can bend them around a lot uh, if you're very active or have a child that's very active and has uh, are afraid of them breaking. There are, uh, lens, or frames that you can just wrap around your finger and almost tie them up in a knot, and they don't break, uh, which are <laughs> amazing memory-type frames, uh, which is pretty cool. I wish I had those when I was a youngster. Uh, and then also... Uh, Frames that are made of nickel. You may think of having an allergy to a frame, but the allergy to nickel in uh, frames can actually turn the side of your head green uh, if it wears too much, or even being allergic to silicone on the nose pads. So maybe a frame without those types of nose pads or the adjustable nose pads uh, wouldn't be uh, worthwhile to do. So uh, having a little allergies to those um, two types of products can... Uh, help you choose the, the right type of frame for you. Okay. Is there also something like um, that when you choose the wrong frame that you maybe then don't have a preferral vision, you don't see far enough out because the thing is, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of like the frame blocks you, uh, looks good but blocks you or something. Is there, is there things like that we need to pay attention to? Oh, exactly. Um, you can go by the facial shape, whether you have a round face or an oval shape like mine or square face. Uh, you can get a frame that where, you know, where it sits up high or too low. Um, and if it sits too low, the temple here will uh, occlude your peripheral vision and cause problems. That's something to look at. Or if it sits up too high, uh, it, then you have to worry about where the bifocal has to sit in the lens. So those are uh, key factors when you're choosing frames. Uh, with the, the styles that are happening nowadays, the temples are getting thicker on the edge. So, you know, you can't, with the style happening, you're, you have no choice. So your, your provision may be reduced anyway. Uh, but, you know, looks uh, are very important. And safety you know, may not be as uh, important to some people. But, but you got to try it on. So in the end, it's like um, it is something like depends on what you look like, a little bit like a fashion, you know, and then maybe you might get a little bit of consulting which fashion fits you better because some of us don't know how to pick a tie. I mean, it may be a good-looking tie, but it might not fit us or like the rest of the suit we're wearing, um, you know, and you see it with girls all the time. I mean, you know, the, you know one dress doesn't necessarily look the same on, an, on, a, on a different girl. In, uh, so same with glasses, I guess. And are the people who suggest frames, like being in your office or in other offices, are they trained on that to say, look, this frame makes you look younger, this frame makes you look older, this frame makes you well, whatever, it fits you, it doesn't fit you. Uh, uh, is, is there some basic training which uh, some of those um, opticians have? Yeah, the opticians should go through a training uh, program before uh, they're out on the sales um, but they can also have salespeople slash opticians. Uh, there are uh, salespeople that, you know, they see the frame. You can look at your face say, okay, this is the shape that you need. The opticians may be more in the uh, uh, technical part of it uh, to be able to adjust the frames. Um, but most of them will have the training and, be, uh, and get certified to uh, style somebody. That's a key word. So you think not thinking, but uh, you have a, a salesperson at a clothing store that's going to style, pick out your style for you. Uh, there are even frames uh, for that. So you can look at your style, whether it be for work or dress or, or both or sunglasses. You know, you, you got to get styled, and you don't want to have something that's going to uh, accentuate a part of your face 
And like, oh wow, you know, I didn't know you had, you know, big ears because <laughs> now the glasses uh, stand out. And you're like, I do. Oh, well, I better go back and fix these or something. So right, 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 right. You gotta, right. You gotta look out for that. Yeah. Okay. Good. Well, all right. That's all about frames. Um, bye, bye, Doctor Vasquez.